Okay, so one thing I want to point out is that Tweet Spinner just updated their website this morning uh, to change the look and feel, but it still functions identically. So um, as far as the difference, it's not going to be anything different than what we've already covered. Uh, it's just the nature of the beast. Websites, company, companies such as yourself, us, anybody are going to be updating the websites on a regular basis. But, you know, right here on the bottom uh, of Tweet Spinner, they have a link and it leads to Follower Wonk. So, Follower Wonk, um, I'm going to actually discuss here in just a second. It's going to show you, oh, this is, uh, this is great news, how many new followers you're getting on a daily basis. Let me zoom that in real quick just in case. How many new followers, how many you're losing. Uh, and the reason why you're losing is because you're getting rid of all the spam. So you're adding uh, all of these here and you're getting rid of all the spam. So you're netting um, in this category right here. So uh, this gives you a great visual representation exactly what's going on in your Twitter account. So um, this started on November 7th all the way till the beginning of January and uh, there's a big fluctuation but right here is the big drop off when Tweet Spinner went through its uh, cleanup and got rid of all the trash so I would definitely sign up for this and I can click on saved reports uh, hopefully it pops up here ran a little report a little while ago and click on the link and it's going to take us to this pie graph so it's going to, I want to talk about this, it's going to show our influential level, how many people we're following, our followers, how many days we've been on Twitter, how many tweets we've done, and look at this. So, influence scores of Suited Marketing's followers. Uh, let me zoom this out. Okay, so... Um, here we go. Our influence score is our proprietary rating of a user's influence and engagement on Twitter. It ranges from 0 to 100, where higher scores generally indicate a person with greater influential activity on Twitter. So 0 to 100, and we're at 53. So we're right in the middle. Uh, we, we definitely have a lot of room for improvement, and uh, that's something that uh, we need to take note of as well. And then look at this graph down here. We have follower counts of Suited Marketing's followers. We've analyzed Suited Marketing's followers and assembled the following chart to show you the number of people that those followers follow. This is a useful way to pinpoint those users with the most followers and therefore clout. And, um, you know, as you can see here, majority of our um, energy is in this area. Um, if you break it down to, uh, these are the amount of followers. So, uh, of course, usually uh, the most are going to be right in the middle. And um, so some are more influential than others, and but the majority are kind of in the middle range like we are. So, uh, again, we have a uh, long ways to go ourselves. So this next one is friend counts of suited marketing's followers. Here we highlight the number of friends of Suited Marketing's followers. I'm reading this area right here. Uh, generally, this is a less useful metric than the follower count above. That said, we've found that people with a large number of friends are often less valuable than those with fewer friends. This is because those people with many friends are less likely to read their Twitter stream as there are as there is simply too much information, which definitely, uh, when you're getting overwhelmed with uh, tweets, uh, you know, we're having 50 to 100 per second, um, it's almost impossible to stay up with that information. So uh, definitely uh, another good pie graph to look at. And next one is here, account ages of suited marketing's followers. So this is uh, huge. This is going to show you uh, how influential our followers are uh, out in the Twitter world as well. Uh, the great news is the majority of our followers are one to two years, two to three years. So, uh, and there's a few here, which is a large percentage, four to five years. 
Uh, oh, I'm sorry, four to five years is the smallest. Three to four years is uh, pretty decent, 8.6%. Six to 12 months, there's a huge amount of growth. Um, people just joining Twitter. Uh, and the next one is tweet recencies of suited marketing's followers. So this graph is going to show you um, how long it's been since these followers have tweeted themselves. It says if a person hasn't tweeted recently then their account may be dormant. You don't want to um, focus on the dormant people because they're not doing anything. They're sitting back watching TV or sitting on their couch. Um, you know, they're not working as hard and diligently as us or you or the other people that really do want to be successful. And um, next one is total tweets of suited marketing's followers. Uh, this is going to show us exactly how active our followers are. So if a user has a low tweet count, they may not be a real user meaning they might not be a person, they might be a program uh, spamming. That's one thing that we really emphasize the importance of is don't spam. You're going to waste your time, you're going to waste your followers time, they're going to be annoyed, so on and so forth. And really what it boils down to is spam is not providing value. We focus heavily on value, we focus heavily on giving information, but also asking for something in return. So instead of just money, 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 it shows that you really care about other people. It shows that you really want to make a difference and, um, you know, focus your time on that. Oh, this is a good one too. It's languages of suited marketing's followers. We definitely, we don't want to spend too much time on other languages because primarily in the United States um, and actually in the rest of the world most people speak English and if you don't understand another language what's the point uh, and vice versa you might be sending off a mixed message to people who speak a different language because of the verbiage and vice versa and um, the last one here big word cloud of suited marketing's followers so to help make sense of the biography field of each Twitter user We've assembled the following word cloud, which shows you the most frequently occurring words. This is this is too awesome. Uh, it's funny too because the number one word is marketing, and that's our business is. It gets smaller as the number of uh, tw words of of that sense go down. So the last one is author. Um, location word cloud of suited marketing's followers. Similar to the above word cloud, here we show you the relative frequency of words used in the location field of our followers. And to be expected, number one being the United States of America. So um, spend time here. Analyze your information. Understand it. Grasp it and study it because that's really what's going to get you to that next level.